Hello, YouTube, man, and welcome to another edition of the Crypto Mom Mia. Today is Thursday, November 10th, 2022. And what am I talking about today, ladies and gents? Am I talking panic? And yes, I know I wasn't on yesterday. I had some technical difficulties, but I am back today. And am I talking, oh my God, panic? Am I selling? Am I buying? What am I doing? Well, guess what, ladies and gents? I will tell you. So remember, though, it's not financial advice. Just showing you what I'm doing. But look at this, ladies and gents. If you were one of those yesterday that said, oh, no, Bitcoin is all the way down to 15,000. What am I going to do? And this was yesterday. Look at the Look at the date. Look at the date. It was November 9th when it went all the way to 15,000. Were you one of those that said, I am done. I am selling. <laughs> when you bought at, I don't know, let's say 17,000, right? The day before. Were you one of those that said, I'm done with crypto and I'm selling it all? If you were, then I'm sorry to tell you, but yes, you lost some money. But if you were one of those that said, oh my gosh, 15000 what a bargain, and you bought some more, by the way, spoiler alert, that was me, I was one of those, and look at today, today we're back up. So now if you look inside your little crypto wallet, wherever you keep your Bitcoin, you are probably a happy camper, <laughs> right? Because ladies and gents, what do I teach on this channel? I teach Crypto is a volatile asset, but one of the best assets of all time, because look at the all-time chart. I keep coming back to this, ladies and gents, and I, and I will, because if you are not buying low, selling high, if you are not trading on the one-minute chart like the Oracle style, aka Oracle war on the one-minute chart, then I don't know, folks. I mean, look at this. This is the all-time profit margin of bitcoin 16 according to coin stats anyways since here 16000 percent if you can find me and please do leave it in the comment oh by the way if you have not liked me or subscribed to me or shared me and not in that way you pervert please do because I am trying to get to 3,000 subscribers, and I may have a special surprise for the 3,000th subscriber. So if you have not already, please subscribe. But yes, if you can find me an asset that has gone up minimum 16,000% in a short period of time. Now, this was 2013, ladies and gents. So that is approximately, that's less than 10 years because we're in 2022. So in less than 10 years, if you found an asset that has appreciated as much as this one, then please, please leave it in the comment because I would like to get in on it as well, right? If you have, then I would love to be on it. Let's take a look at some of the news. <laughs> so there's... Here we go. Bitcoin reclaims the $17,500 mark amid market crisis. I mean, granted, it was higher. It was in the 19s and the 20s, like a couple of days. But you got to love the volatility. You can make money on it, like trading, especially trading, you know, quick gains. My goodness, especially if you know how to like figure out how to do the charts. My gosh, you can you can make some Bitcoin in a short amount of time. So whatever you would have lost in just holding it, you would have gained in just trading it. So again, I don't tell you what to do, but my goodness. Let's see. Let's see what people are saying about it. And, you know, I'd like to take a look at the news. I am one of those that I take every bit of news I can whether it's good, bad, or otherwise, for any topic, and then I make my own opinion. I figure out on my own, not because of anyone else, what to do with whatever I do. So 
you should be the same. You should go and you should do as much research, get as many opinions as possible, and then figure out what to do on your own. That is why I love my education channel, because I hope to be one of those people that can give you a little bit of information. And again, I say a little bit like a smidgen. You really need to go out and gather your own info because I just, you know, when you have your whole finger, I'm just the tip of your tip of your finger now. You still got to at least get down to the bottom of your finger now <laughs> before you make a decision. And, you know, Bitcoin still continues to be dominated by bearish traders. And it's been dragged down to 17.5, which is the lowest level in two years. But, however, the price move has not entirely favored the bears. Sentiment, point, sentiment pointed out that amid the price drop, overzealous traders on the derivatives exchanges who attempted to short BTC while expecting a further price drop were massively liquidated so exactly if you don't know how to if you don't know what you're doing in trading especially if you're doing futures you will get dunked <laughs> you will sink like the titanic this is why i love the one minute chart because you get in you get out you make profit then you move on and even if you have to take a loss, it'll be a tiny loss. And then you just make it up on the next one. As long as you win more than you lose. Of course, no one is, is as expert as the Oracle is at doing it. But hey, if you win more than you lose, then you definitely make all the time you do it. You just got to know how to get in, get out. <laughs> That's what she said. So yes, am I panicking, ladies and gents? No, I... I am not panicking. I've seen this. I have been through this before. I've seen it go from 20,000 all the way to 3,000. And listen, if you don't panic at that point, then you probably won't panic at all. Because 20,000 to 3,000, that is like 75% loss. And I mean, it just keeps going up. Look at this. When I first started this video, I swear I feel like it was at like 17.5 or so, and now it's at 17.7. Look at Ethereum. Ethereum bounced back nicely. All of them did. All of them did. XRP, even though I don't hold any. And I don't hold a lot of these altcoins. I think the only ones I hold mainly are Bitcoin and Ethereum. Maybe a little bit of, um, I used to have BNB, but somebody hacked my Exodus. Or no, not hacked. I was stupid enough to give them my seed phrase. So don't do that. In fact, if you haven't seen that, go watch my video on it, how to secure your Exodus. But man, don't do that. But yeah, I had some of that. Uh, yeah, I get into some as they call it, shit coins, for fun. Like, I have some Shiba Inu. Why not? Probably cost me, like, a dollar. It's just to see what go what it goes, what will happen to it. I actually had some Donkey Coin, too, or Doge. I know, don't get your panties in a bunch. Some Doge Coin, but, yeah, I sold that a while back. But, yeah, they're so... If you don't like Bitcoin, there's so many other things you can get into. But I, myself, like the tried and true Bitcoin and Ethereum. I like the Ethereum because of all those smart contracts. And yeah, in fact, I think I may still have some. I don't know. I have to go check in on them. But I definitely keep track mainly for my, my bigger holdings, which are in Bitcoin and Ethereum. But Anyways, ladies and gents, that is the video for today. Am I panicking? No, I am not. And, it, you know, you shouldn't either. But, hey, who am I to tell you what to do? If you want to sell at a loss, you can. But if you just look at the history of Bitcoin, and I shall look at it one more time. All I'm saying is don't be too quick to panic, but also don't be a fool and hold on forever. <laughs> Buy and sell, buy and sell. That is the nature of assets, ladies and gents. Buy, buy low, sell high. I mean, if you don't, 
if you don't know Warren Buffett, learn his lessons. That's what he says. He says he gets greedy when there's fear, and then he gets less greedy when other people are greedy, or something like that. Who knows? I'm not Warren Buffett, but pretty much buy low, sell high in four words. That's what he's saying, right? So, and trade. My goodness, if you knew how to trade this or that, you would have made some money. Yes, you would have. So, leverage trading. But anyways, ladies and gents, I remember, if you have not liked me or subscribed to me or shared me yet, please do. I will have a special surprise for the 3,000 subscriber. But anyways, I hope you're having a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Please stay sane. Most important of all in this crazy, crazy world that we live. And I will see you at the next video. Adios.